Happy Kids Bedtime Story. Good evening, B Kids, and welcome to another Bedtime Stories. I hope you are snuggled up this evening and ready to listen to a story, ready to wind down before bed. Maybe you've got your cuddly toys, or maybe you're in your pajamas. I don't know. Um, but I hope that you're ready to sleep, winding down. So I thought I would read you this story about a bunny rabbit and a bee. Once there was a rabbit named Abigail who was terribly afraid. And although she longed for adventure, in the forest she stayed. She lived in the forest with Mummy, with Daddy and with Joe. But when it came to adventures, out of the forest she would not go. Until one day, quite by chance, she met a small and unexpected friend. And it's here our story starts, where their paths begin to bend. Danley was a bumblebee, who wasn't scared of anything. He flew whenever, wherever, and had even confronted an elephant. So one perfect morning, Stanley left the hive. In search of new adventures, he left his friends behind. Abigail went cautiously that day to pick flowers for her mum. But accidentally, she happened to pick the perfect one. Because on that flower, Stanley was resting and he saw her cautious eyes. You need adventure, he said. To which Abigail was taken by surprise. I'm sorry I picked your flower, she said. How can you tell I want adventure? Everyone should go and explore, said Stanley. Now let me take you beyond this door. Oh, I don't know, said Abby. I've never been out of the forest. The world's so scary, and I don't think I'd be good at it, to be honest. Nonsense, said Stanley. We were all born to explore. Don't keep yourself down. Let's see what the world has in store. Abby shut her eyes tight and thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly her thinking was cut short. Ouch, said Abby. What was that? A sting, said Stanley proudly. Let's stop thinking and just act. So for the first time ever, Abby took a step further than she'd ever been before. And they were off on their whirlwind tour. They went mountain climbing on Monday, kite flying on Tuesday, to the beach on Wednesday, and to the jungle on Thursday. But by Friday, Abigail missed home. They had travelled so far and so wide that Abby couldn't help but feel something missing inside. So when Stanley came knocking, Abby said politely, not today. But Stanley didn't understand. Adventure was calling. They had to be on their way. So he flew a little way off. What was he going to do now? No Abby to adventure with? Don't you like me, Abby? said Stanley. Oh, silly bee, of course. You taught me how to be brave. But there's Mummy, Daddy and Joe. It's fun outside the forest, but the forest is still home. I love our adventures and I love to explore. But sometimes it's nice to stay close to your own front door with the ones you love and the ones who care. That's family, someone always being there. Oh, said Stanley, I'd forgotten all about mine. I was so caught up in adventure and the need to explore, I forgot all about my own front door. Oh, Abby, I have to go home. Abby smiled as Stanley said goodbye and returned to his family, to all those he'd left behind. Back at Stanley's front door, he was met with wide smiles and a huge celebration and Stanley told them all about his adventures and exploration. And Abby and Stanley, they stayed friends for life. On Mondays they'd go climb mountains, on Tuesdays they'd fly kites, on Wednesdays to the beach, on Thursdays to the jungle, really wherever they liked. But on Fridays they did not explore. On Fridays, their adventures would never take them past their own front doors. I wonder whether, like Abby, maybe we're a little bit scared to do some things that seem quite exciting 
or maybe like Stanley, we're so excited to do everything that we forget to be kind and loving to our friends around us. I think it's important that we um, have both. We go on adventures and we have fun, but we um, take care of the people around us and we love and we remember who's been there all the time and who's supporting us. I'm going to pray for you this evening, kids. Um, I'm going to pray that you have sweet, sweet dreams and that you don't have any nightmares tonight um, and that you are filled with peace this evening. So let's pray before bed. Father Almighty, I thank you for each and every one of my baby kids. I thank you that you protect them and keep them safe. And Lord, I just pray this evening, as they shut their eyes to go to sleep, I pray you would fill them with sweet, sweet dreams. I pray they would go on adventures with you. And I pray that when they wake up this morning, um, tomorrow morning, that you will fill them with so much joy, Lord, that they will wake up in peace. And Father, I pray now that you would send your spirit um, into each one of their rooms, that they would sleep well and sleep deep. In Jesus' name, amen. Night, my friends, I will see you soon.